So let's talk about vagina now. As I have written right here, the vagina is a copulatory organ and it is largely distensible due to the head of the fetus during delivery and it is a fibromuscular, you know, copulatory organ, fibromuscular. In order to understand the position of vagina, let me draw a lady here. This is the anti-abdominal wall and then her thigh. This is her back, the buttock and then the thigh. Right here, let's imagine is the symphysis pubis. Here is her sacrum and then the coccyx. So, her pelvic outlet would be about right here and her perineum would be about here. So, if we talk about the vagina, it enters or actually it is this position we are talking about right now. Position from the perineum will be upward and backward. I already told you. The anterior border will be smaller, posterior border will be sm larger because of the entry of cervix at the anterior border. This is the position of vagina in a female. So if we draw the vagina individually and show its sagittal section, this will be its anterior wall, thick in anterior wall. This will be its posterior wall and this will be the cervix entering the vagina as you can see the anterior wall is smaller actually the anterior wall is 8 centimeter in length whereas the posterior wall is 10 centimeter in length if we think about if we can notice here this area is circular whereas this is much narrower so the upper end of vagina is actually 5 centimeter wide as the lower end of vagina is only 2.5 centimeter wide vagina is highly distensible because head of fetus is much larger very very much larger than this and during delivery this vagina expands and allows that head of the fetus to pass so we are talking about its diameter its walls we so if we talk about the lumen of vagina we know it is five centimeter you know in diameter above but the lumen here is actually circular in upper one third in middle one third it is actually slit like while in lower one third it is actually edge shaped in this diagram i have taken two section sagittal section of vagina coronal section of vagina in the coronal section of vagina this is the entrance of cervix Whereas in sagittal section, this is the entrance of cervix. We can see two spaces here. Here, this space above or the on the posterior side, posterior side of the cervix. This space is called posterior fornix of vagina. Let me write that down. Posterior fornix of vagina. It is the largest, uh, you know, fornix of the vagina. Now, actually, what fornix is, fornix is the space between the uh, cervix and the wall of the vagina. Anteriorly, we can also say, see a space. This is called the anterior fornix of vagina. It is the smallest. There are in coronal section, we can see these are two lateral sides, right? So, we can see two lateral fornixes of vagina. Two lateral fornixes of vagina so what is the difference between hymen and carincular hymenalis in virgin females V for virgin in virgin females the external vaginal orifice is closed by two mucosal folds these two mucosal folds folds close the lumen and these folds are called hymen whereas in married female these two mucosal folds now project outside and now they show two projections on external vaginal orifice they do not actually close the lumen 
they are just projection now on the outside and now they are called carincular hymenalis. So hymen is present in virgin female and in married female it is converted into carincular hymenalis.